Today we would like to talk to you about animal housing and how to avoid any issues with water quality resulting from the management of animal housing. Poorly managed animal housing may result in direct losses to waters. These are known as point sources of pollution. These need to be identified at farm level and action taken to prevent and minimise these losses. The Nitrates Directive states that where livestock are housed over the winter period, these facilities should be fit for purpose and have adequate storage capacity for the required number of weeks. The organic storage period varies from 16 to 22 weeks depending on the part of the country you're located in. Sheep farmers are required to have six weeks storage. Ensure the capacity of tanks is at a minimum sufficient to meet the slurry storage requirements for your county. Not only is it important from a practical point of view to know how much storage you have, it's essential to have adequate storage if you are considering applying for TAMS. The following are some important guidelines on the management of animal housing facilities. When it comes to slatted sheds and tanks, they are designed to house a certain number of animals. Do not exceed this number. To maximise storage, ensure water trucks are not leaking. Prevent water from entering tanks from roofs, yards or adjoining land and ideally there should be a storage buffer of two to four weeks. This storage buffer is important as it means you can avoid spreading slurry in less than ideal conditions. It also allows the farmer more flexibility when workloads are heavy. It allows you to make best use of nutrients and therefore reducing your fertiliser bill. If additional storage is not possible, maybe you could look at holding less animals over the winter period. For loose houses, ensure runoff from pens is collected. Use sufficient levels of straw and do not use open yards without effluent collection facilities to outwinter animals on. TAMS covers many areas of farm safety and infrastructure. It runs in three month tranches and priority is given to young trained farmers in disadvantaged areas. For further information, contact your local Chagask office. In summary, farmers need to ensure that animal housing is managed carefully to prevent and minimise nutrient and sediment losses to water. And remember to try and have a storage buffer of two to four weeks so as to avoid application of nutrients at times where losses can occur to water.